no, 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 Sammy, no, okay, you should come back, you should come back. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, we thank you for your hand come down this morning. There's a press conference, the bag is off, won't take it. The counting, the coalition, the commission of results has been going all over the country. As a party, we've been updating you about some foreign developments. Um, we are here at the National Coalition Center with our director of operations, former National Security Coordinator, Lieutenant Retired Colonel Gogolati. We are here with the minority leader of parliament, the MP elect for Tamale South, Honorable Kuparuna Idrusu. We are here with our election director. And so, first of all, our minority leader, Honorable Aaron Edwards, will address you. Um, when he's done, our director of operations, Lieutenant Retired Kenny Bogolati, will also address you. So, leader, the floor is yours. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, let me thank you for your continuous expose on many of the happenings in our country. Evans. Our country's electoral commission per its mandate in the country conducted and supervised presidential and parliamentary elections in Ghana across the 275 constituencies in Ghana divided across the 16 regions of Ghana. <laughs> Evidence available to us former from, from collated pin sheets from polling stations across the country and specific to the constituencies in Ghana puts the NDC in lead with 140 seats, parliamentary seats won, 140. That makes us the majority party whilst we wait for the declaration of the presidential outcome. Understandably, you should know why we have the parliamentary results and we do not have the presidential results yet. With the presidential results, the chairperson of the electoral commissioner is the returning officer. With parliamentary results per CI 127, I'm holding a copy, the electoral commissioner appoints returning officers and counting is done at various polling stations. Polling stations results as signed onto pink sheet, validated, gives the NDC 140 parliamentary seats. I will share the list, but note that there are attempts by the new patriotic party government, led by Nana Adudankwa, Akufuadu, shamefully, to want to subvert the sovereign will of the people of Ghana, and even to reduce our parliamentary numbers by five, targeting the Tapua constituency, Sefiwe and Su constituency, Upper Dentira West, Sine West, and Techima South. You saw what happened in Techima South. After coalition, they went back to the coalition center. And distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we demand respect to the letter and spirit of the laws of Ghana, including CI 127, which governs the conduct of the elections. In Techima South, the NDC candidate won. Having won, you, said that you saw them use the military and professionally. Guns do not vote, and guns will not make Nana Dankwa the president of this republic. We will resist our presence rule. We will resist our presence rule. So in the Chima South, they just use guns to shoot and to scare away our agents. Our agents have not signed, but at least even that one, the EC itself have confirmed that they are not aware of any changes. Neither are we aware of any changes, nor we will accept any changes in the Chima South. We know we have won. You can go through the thing shape, polling station by polling station. It's an NDC one seat. In Upper Dentira West, which they are also contesting, and for the media again, we are sending a clear warning to the military, the Ghana Armed Forces, that their loyalty is to the state and the Republic of Ghana, and not to elected officials. 
If they intimidate us further, we will respond appropriately. Citizens too, we have power. They cannot intimidate us continuously with their guns as they did in Tachima. Even in Savlugu, when they noticed that they desperately needed some one or two, three more seats to form a majority, to deny the NDC the majority, they started shooting at the Savlugu police station. They stood their grounds and asked Idris Mumbiangkwang to stay in if it meant even dying with the last bullet, so that the evidence is shown. When it was counted, the NDC won. And, and, and they killed one person in Savlugu, Tachima too. Needless, needless bloodshed in the name of somebody wanting to, by force, consolidate his hold on political power. Unacceptable and shameful behavior of the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. In Upper Denchira West, even after coalition and reconciliation, it is still the NDC which won. They have threatened the electoral officer and saying that they will eliminate and kill him if he so declares the results in favor of the NDC. In Upper Denchira West, we are seeing results so coalitioned in the pension. And ladies and gentlemen of the press, let me put up this matter very strongly. Coalition centers are centers for aggregation of votes from polling stations. They are not to be used for purposes of recounting by the provisions of CI 127. Coalition centers are necessarily and primarily for aggregation of results from the various polling stations. Like you take Tamale South, you take each polling station and then you know and authenticate the results. So, coalition centers, as they are using the military to compel a recount itself is legally untenable. It is not legally permissible to do recounts compulsorily using the military to intimidate electoral officers to do recount. Our laws does not recognize that. And swapping the outcome. Coalition centers, I repeat, are for aggregation of polling center results. Recount can only be done at the polling station and probably in law by an order of the court, if so demanded. So take note. Uh, apart from Upper Denture West, we simply say that allow the returning officer to function. In Sydney West, one polling station, the MPP tax took away a ballot box to deny the NDC is victory in Sydney West. Whilst voting was still ongoing, when they took the ballot box, only the EC and the NDC seals were intact. What happened to the NDP still? After retrieving it, what happened? They retrieved it. So it should tell you, now their modus operandi is to use the security and the military to intimidate and shoot. Guns don't install a president. Guns don't, and we will not be intimidated. In that constituency, Excellency John Mahama won the election. In many areas, they are trying to rewin using military brute force five constituencies to an edge as a majority party. We are saying that let the pink sheet speak. Let the pink sheet speak per polling station and its aggregation accordingly done at coalition centers. Coalition centers are not centers primarily for recount of votes. The military must stay away and desist away from the use of guns to scare yes. away our NDC supporters. In the Eastern region, for instance, the Electoral Commission Office faxed a different resource to the regional coalition center which was only signed by the new patriotic party agent. How can that happen if the AC is not becoming an extension of the new patriotic party? Uh, uh, after the original was declared, we have videos of the declaration of the results in the eastern region, constituency by constituency. They found it unacceptable because they must work out their mathematics. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen of the press, let me now come to this important document. Yes, we know that the chairperson of the Electoral Commission is the returning officer 
for the presidential election. I'll take you through Form 9, Form 9 of CI 127. It provides, and I read, Presidential Election Results Coalition Form, Name of Constituency and District, Polling Station Code. So we expect that the Chairperson of the Electoral Commission, in declaring the presidential results, will provide detail of the over 33,000 polling stations and their codes and the respective votes received by Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Nana Adudankwa well collated, which aggregation must give us the outcome of a presidential win. We will not accept anything other than what is provided for in law under CI 127. So presidential election resource coalition form Polling station code. So it means every police station details must be provided. I again lead you to form 11. It's here, form 11. You also see she is to work in accord with law. Presidential regional resource coalition form, name of constituency. So we expect that for each region, for instance, if you take Northern region, you say Tamalesa, Kumbungu, Sabulubu. We want every single detail of the presidential performance of Excellency John Dramani Mahama and Nana Adudankwa Akufu Adu, and an aggregation of it. We do not want anybody to come and say that somebody has won the election by five or six million. When we cannot explain or understand what accounts for the aggregation and cumulative figure of five or six million. We want Forms 11 to be respected, and we want uh, form 12 is my additional evidence in law that has been provided. So I want to thank you, my And then Sefiwiasu, Sefiwiasu is one of the five. So you see a desperate government which is refusing to die. And the government say that when you want to kill a snake, kill it in the head. You will kill it in their head with a parliamentary seat of 140 and parliamentary majority to trigger our performance as the presidential election. So, Chairperson of the Electoral Commission, to respect the letter and spirit of the laws of Ghana, and again, the fifth constituency in Sakibia, so that they are desperately trying to overturn. They are compelling and forcing our party agents, again, using the military. We demand professionalism from the Ghana military and the Ghana police service. They should not allow themselves to be used for purposes of intimidation. Sooner than later, we'll be there. And Excellency John Mahama will assume office as Commander-in-Chief. We will weed out, we will weed out those miscreants and unprofessionals who are misconducting themselves. We are capturing some of them on video and let them be assured. No gun will install a president in this republic. And we have alerted our supporters across the country. We will respect the sovereign will of the Ghanaian people and the legitimacy of their tongues, not the threat of a gun or a weapon by any policeman or any soldier. We refuse to be intimidated. You see them outside there, tell them if they want, they should point the guns to me. I'm not a coward, and we are not cowards. Let them do it. We will not, we will not succumb or yield to those pressures. So, ladies and gentlemen of the media, demand from the chairperson of the Electoral Commission respect to CI 127 and how presidential results and its outcomes are declared and coalated, consistent with constituency and polling station results and aggregation. Demand that there is no recount per our laws at coalition centers. Coalition centers are centers for aggregation of results. Parliamentary results we know because we have agents who, uh, who aggregate polling station performance and feed us in. We know we have a majority of 140. God bless. My senior colleague will address you on the security issues. <laughs> So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our director of operations will address you. Yes. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I think that uh, Honorable Honor has touched on the grasp of the matter. I will just add on. The first thing I want to say is that at this stage, 
we should be talking about transparency of the elections, we should be talking about credibility of the elections, and we should be talking about the peaceful standards. So that is what should be engaging our minds. And anything that seeks to undermine this, we should all abhor. And that is, I mean, what I have to tell you. First of all, like Honorable Haruna has said, this is a simple matter. We are in to vote. Voting is done at the polling station. And the results are declared at the polling station. So everybody knows what, you know, was uh, voted for. The will of the people is expressed at the polling station. So if you have enough time and uh, effort, you can just sit down yourself and add up all those things. And then and the results will be clear to you. Now, what is important is that if you want, if you try to undermine the will of the people, we are going to have a problem. Because as director of operations, I'm already having so much pressure on, on myself. Because our support base will not accept a situation where people like me sit down and allow the results to be undermined. And like uh, Honorable Haruna has said, that has become clear now. Let me say that we have all agreed on how these elections should be conducted. I mean, by law, regulations, and all the discussions that have gone on between the parties before we went for voting. Nowhere in there was it said that soldiers would be required at the polling station or the collection center. So, if we have a situation where soldiers can go to the polling station or a constituent collection center and do some shooting that kills two people and wounds seven, then you can imagine the kind of pressure that is coming on me. If soldiers can shoot in Sabelebu and kill one young man, then you can imagine the kind of pressure that is being brought on us. Abdelkuma Central, two dead out of shooting. This is just an election. You know, and like I'm saying, the results are there. The results are there at the polling station and they can be added. Look at what happened in Rodeo. Look at what happened to me that day. The main thing here is that our military should be professional and stay out of this election. This is a simple election. We vote, we count, whoever wins has won. The law prescribes how the results should be found out. Like I said, the appropriate forms have to be filled. My understanding as Director of Operations is that going by this simple way of collating the results from the various police stations, the NDC has won 140 parliamentary seats and on course to win the presidential. Now, members of the media, what I want to tell you is that it's a lot of pressure on me when anybody tries to subvert this because then the other side is not going to agree and pressure will then be brought on people like us to ensure that that does not happen. All right, I told you from the beginning that we have to talk about transparency, credibility, and that is my concern. The tension that is brewing down there can lead to a distraction. And we all have a responsibility to safeguard the integrity of this country, the peace in this country. You see, we have asked our supporters in the constituencies involved, those five constituencies that uh, Aruna, uh, Honorable Aruna mentioned, to stand their ground. They should stand their ground for fairness and insist that the right thing be done. There will be absolutely no impunity here. And nobody is going to accept any impunity. We will all do things according to the rule of law. And that is all that is going to be accepted. Let me say again that there is a lot of tension brewing up amongst our support base <coughs> because of the illegality, the impunity that is being brought to bear. And uh, you in the media too, I want to plead with you to contribute to this peace that we are all looking for. Let's have some peaceful elections. Ghana is known for that. Don't let us change it. For instance, UTV put up some results. And what did they do? They put the results for President Mahama, gave that to uh, President Akubado, and the other way around. That, that, that doesn't help. Because then you can see that people begin, hey, what's going on? Is the media? Peace FM also put up some uh, wrong. Joy FM also put up some, uh, some results. 
where 17,000 is changed to 27,000. That's the thing I'm going on. That does not help at all. So I would plead with you to remain true to transparency, credibility, and peace. And if you want to do that, you must be diligent. You must be diligent about what you do. We are all relying on you. The people of Ghana are relying on you because you are the people carrying the information. And where it is wrong, please be bold enough to say it is wrong. Where it is right, please stand up and support it. Because we don't want any disruption in this country. But any attempt to steal this election, I can assure you from what I see, that there is going to be quite some disruption in this place, and nobody is going to like it. The consequences will be such that nobody is going to like it. I want to thank you. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, the message is simple. We have won 140 parliamentary seats. The MPP is trying to...